Google Assistant Ambient Mode is now available and rolling out for all OnePlus devices up to and including 2016's OnePlus 3 and 3T. So we're going hands on to show you just what you can expect. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So the Google Assistant Ambient Mode is essentially a cut down version of the Assistant Dashboard and associated controls that you'll see on a Nest Hub, Nest Hub Max and most smart displays out there. Instead of being tied to the hardware though, it's now on your smartphone, but only when plugged in and charging. Assistant Ambient Mode has come as part of a server side update to the Google app, so you may have it already. To enable, just quickly head into your Google app, Settings, Google Assistant, Select the Assistant tab, now scroll down to Phone or Device, and if you have the option available, it will be within the Personalization tab where you can toggle the option on. From here, you can add a Google Photos slideshow if you wish, which mimics the Nest Hub yet again. If not, you'll get a large clock on your lock screen, so choose wisely. Now that Assistant Ambient Mode is enabled, you're probably wondering how to activate it. Well, it will only activate when your OnePlus device is plugged in and charged. There is no way to activate on battery power just yet. When plugged in, you'll get a very cut down smart display experience with the time, date, any agenda information and the weather in the upper right. If you have any smart home connected hardware, such as bulbs for instance, you'll get some really handy toggles at the bottom of your main ambient mode screen that you can activate and deactivate quickly and easily just by pressing these toggles. Any notifications will also appear here, but persistent notifications might stay visible, which may be an issue for some of you. Tapping a notification will just expand the notification shade where you can open the corresponding app from where it came from. It's worth noting that you can tap the clock icon to enter the dimmed clock view and tapping the weather information widget will instantly ask the assistant for updated weather information. The biggest problem for me is a seemingly constant requirement to enter a pin, but of course that is likely necessary for enhanced device security. There's also the slightly new Google Assistant UI that mimics the UI recently and exclusively seen on Pixel 4 hardware. You can also tap the Assistant logo to activate it at any time. Dislike a setting? Well then you can dive right in from the ambient mode to make minor tweaks on the fly should you wish. As a passive way of introducing you to the Assistant, Ambient Mode is a really nice addition that gives you a very rudimentary portable smart display experience without having to put your hand in your pocket and pick up any new hardware, and ahead of most Android users. Of course, if you have a OnePlus device, the feature is rolling out right now, so it's definitely worthwhile keeping your eyes peeled. Let us know down in the comment section below how you're getting on if you do have it. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google. Thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.